recording, I guess. Oh, fine. I've started the recording. Now, if you need a copy of this video after this section, you can get in touch with Mr. Tunde Bajela, or you can actually get in touch with me. Any of us will make sure we get the video across to you. So the section is being recorded. Now I move straight into my slide now. Let us go into the business of the day. Now, the first thing I want us to look at, Microsoft Power Platform. This is a platform whereby you can solve lots of problems without writing a line of code. We have, it's called the low code platform. And we have about five solutions under the platform at the moment. A Power BI, which we are going to deal with today. Power app, which you can use to build mobile application. Even you don't need to be a developer. As long as you can use computer, you can use PowerPoint, you can use Microsoft Word and I or Excel. I bet you, you can also be an app developer using Power Platform. Don't forget, it's a low-code environment that Microsoft introduced. And Power Automate, I want to automate a lot of processes in the office. No problem. You can use this platform to do a lot of automation in your organization. So Power Automate is another powerful platform where you can quickly use to automate processes in the organization. And also we have the Power Virtual Agent, but as of today is known as Copilot Studio, where you can sit down and build a virtual agent, a bot, a chat bot that people can interact with. And to do that, it's like, wow, how, how on earth can I get a bot up and running within a few hours? I want to tell you, using this platform, you can actually do more than expectation. So, and finally, there is what to call Power Pages. Power Pages is another app within the platform that can help you build what you call websites that can be used within the organization or outside the organization. People can connect to your website. They can even buy it. It depends on what you want. You can be just a website to pass information. It can be a website, a, a web portal that can interact with people. So what are the benefits of business intelligence? Now, why we are here, we want to learn BI, how we can quickly get data, analyze the data, and get insight from the data. So what are the benefits of BI? Number one, it gives you fast answer to any business query. You are all going to see that very soon. How you can quickly get fast answer to business query, it enables real-time analysis with quick navigation. So as data is coming in, you can start to get inside. You don't need to wait till the end of the month to sit down or get somebody to come and check your data for you. No. Once you have it running, as data is coming in, you are getting updates, real-time updates on what is going on. It helps you identify cross-selling and upselling opportunities around you. What are the cross-selling and upselling opportunities? So it helps you to identify them. Oh, these are opportunities for me. All this thing I'm mentioning, you are going to see them very soon as we demonstrate it. It helps you to reduce the risk of bottleneck. So it helps you identify bottlenecks and help reduce that risk. So apart from that, it helps you to know your business better. You get to have a better understanding of your business and it helps you to improve your decision-making ability. So what exactly are we talking about when we say self-service BI? Self-service in the sense that you don't need to engage somebody to do things for you. You can pick up any data and start to get insight from the data almost immediately. So if you are there and you have a data 
that you feel like, no, this is just a data. I want to tell you, it's more than data. Data analysis, data mining, data science, data engineering, these are powerful career paths that people are now focusing on. They are making money from it because it's not just data, it has turned to gold. It has turned to oil for the organization. But if you don't know how to beat the data to get the oil or the gold, then there will be big issue. So the major essence is how you can get it done yourself. So I would like to call it DIY BI, do it yourself BI. Now, when you say do it yourself BI, what are we trying to see? Make BI tool easy to use. So whenever you want to use tools that I'm going to shoot to us shortly, it makes life very easy for you. Makes BI results easy to consume and enhance. When you see the result that comes out from this, it makes you, wow, you can easily consume it. You easily understand it. And it makes data warehouse solution fast to deploy and easy to manage. Data warehousing alone is a big challenge. But understanding this too, it makes data warehousing so simple. You can easily warehouse your data together and then start to bring out insight from the data set. Now, it makes it easy for you to access any data sources out there. Now, I want us to understand what is on the screen. Several years back, around 90s, in late 90s, 1998, what we used to have is called technical BI. You cannot do it alone. You have to engage an IT specialist and then give them your data. You work with them to build, to give you business intelligence. But around 2010, Microsoft empower Microsoft Excel and they introduced to us Power Pivot. Some of us have been using Excel and we'll be using Pivot table in Excel. Power Pivot is a wonderful tool that makes data analysis to stand out. You can have an holistic view of the company and so many other things. This was introduced far back 2010 and most people did not really see this advantage to use all those Power BI features that was added, embedded to Excel. Hello? Hello? If you are not speaking, you can mute yourself. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Now, and also, as of 2015, Microsoft released what you call Power BI itself in a box. And this is end user BI. It's not a BI that you need somebody to come and help you. So at the end of this course today, if you should be able to pick up Power BI to solve any of your data insight problem or challenges you may have. Now let us understand Power BI ecosystem. Power BI is an ecosystem including SAAS, Software as a Service. It also have what you call desktop application. That's the one I ask you to download, Power BI Desktop. Please download it now. It has the on-premises services and connector to make creation of your report and dashboard possible. You can also have Power BI Gateway. You can have Power BI Mobile. That is just to view. For those of you that want to download Power BI Mobile, you can download it on your phone. All these things I've mentioned, they are all free. When you download Power BI Mobile on your phone, you can only read Power BI reports. You can't use to build a report. Now, let us see the flow of Power BI architecture. Whenever we are using this Power BI architecture, this is how it flows. You can connect to hundreds of data sources, well over 300 data sources. And when you use Power BI Desktop to connect to them, it brings your data into Power BI Desktop environment where you can build your reports, your dashboard, gain insights, do everything you want to do. And once you are done with the report, you are expected to publish that report into Power BI service, which is a cloud service. When you publish the work into Power BI service, then you can establish a Power BI gateway to the data in your office. 
what is this doing? So that as they are adding new information to the data in the office, the information is being published to the cloud automatically. So this can be real time. It depends on the type of licenses you go for for the Power BI service. And finally, you can ask users to connect with their system, with their mobile phone, to see the report you have published. And this is as simple and seamless as possible. So you might want to ask me, what are the skills needed to be to master this Power BI? I want to tell you, it's just four things I will tell you to get. Once you can get these four things, you are already on the right track. Number one, you must understand data visualization design best practice. When can I use pie charts? When can I use line charts? When can I use bar charts, histogram? Understand it and also understand more around color, branding, and so many other things. infographics. If you have basic understanding of those pictorial way of presenting data, then you are good to go. Number two, you must have basic knowledge of what database. What is a database? What are fields or column? What are rows or record? And is there any primary key? And what is a primary key? Is there another table I want to relate with? Then what is relationship? What is a foreign key? All these basic database skill, once you know them or you have them, I want to tell you, plus the data visualization, you are halfway into the industry. And the third part is data preparation. How do you prepare your data? Most of the time, we fail in our analysis because the data is not well prepared, is not well transformed. Sometimes the data given to us is not clean. We need to clean the data. You must understand the fundamentals of data preparation or data transformation. How you can make that data fit for use. Once you can learn how to prepare your data, then you are in business. And finally, you need to have little idea of the business. Somebody can also come and analyze a data for us in the hospital or a research center or in an, in, in an account department or sector. And you don't have knowledge of accounting. You don't know what they call debit or credit side. You don't know the difference between general ledger or tri balance or financial position. You don't know anything. I tell you to prepare a report for that industry will be stressful. So you must have basic knowledge of the business, basic knowledge of mathematics, basic knowledge of statistics. If you can have all this, there is nothing stopping you to be a genius in this career path. And the question is why Power BI? I want to show us this screen. On this screen, there are lots of players in the BI industry, in the data analysis industry or business intelligence industry. And if you can look at my screen, there are lots of names that might ring bell to you. But the two or three major player around 2016 and 2017, they are Click, Tableau, and Microsoft. But around that same year, you can see the movement. Click, move a little backwards, and there is a growth from Tableau from year. Tableau is one of the market leaders in those days to so this new position. And as you can see, Microsoft actually made a major shift from where they, they are in 2016 to the new position in 2017. To let you know that this is a tool that most company is actually looking for. When they mention data analysis, they want to be sure you can use Power BI. Like I mentioned when we started, you can go online, Google it out and see how companies need data analysis 
and most especially with Power BI skill. Now, let us look at some rules in this business. Hello, Mr. We are... Hi. Yes, some hands were raised. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, boss said Let they. Me... Boss said they oh. raised her hand and she does he raise her hand earlier. Okay, please. Boss said they and she goes here, please. She does here. Any okay. question? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I what you were explaining wasn't showing on my screen, so I wanted to call your attention to it. So that's it. But it's showing now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's showing now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So that is boss ID. And let's go. She does here. Any question? Okay. So let me be sure there is no message on the chat at the moment. Okay, there is no message. If you have any message, you can drop it on the chat. So thank you very much. Let me go back to the screen. Okay, now we're talking about roles in data. There are several roles in data that might be useful to us. Number one role, business analysts. People always miss this for data analysts. They are two different things. Business analysts, they look at the business. They look at a way of improving productivity within the business. They look at the what can come into the business to improve their strategy, to improve their performance. They, re, they look at the existing process and want to re-engineer the process to come up with a better process. Data analysts, they pick up data, they analyze the data to get insights from the data sets. And we have data engineers. These are the people that do the cleaning that I mentioned before. They connect to different data sources, bring the data into a particular place, clean up the data, load it into the warehouse, and set up a continuous data injection, getting data from different sources on a daily basis. By the time you add a new data to, to maybe HR data, automatically it picks those new data, bring it to the warehouse. So if anybody is going to do a report, they will get the latest report. And these are all what this can come up with. We also have data scientists. Data scientists, they really want to tell us the future. Based on the data they've been able to study, they will tell us tomorrow this will likely happen to the business. So they are the scientists. And finally, we have the database administrator. These are the people that sit on your database to protect your database, to grant access to the database, to revoke access from the database, to, to improve performance of the database and so many other things. So they manage the database itself. So these are different rules, but the role we are concentrating on today is the data analyst. So we want to see as a data analyst, what and what can we achieve? And quickly, let me give us some major type of analytics that we'll be concentrating on today or we have we have several types of analytics we have descriptive analytics diagnostic analytics predictive analytics prescriptive and cognitive now when we talk about descriptive descriptive just describe what they have seen in the data it is a special type of analysis to tell us oh i've seen this in your data i also saw this in your data i also saw this i observed this about the your 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 business based on the data you gave to me that is descriptive analytics so at this point i'm going back to the audience i want somebody on this call to tell me your own understanding of diagnostic analytics who is going you have 60 seconds to explain diagnostic analytics who is going please anybody i have explained descriptive analytics 
Can somebody try to explain to Ross diagnostic hello, analytics? Hello, sir. Hi. Yeah, so from my end, we are uh, we are still seeing your business analyst, data analyst, data engineering. I don't know if that's what everyone else oh. is showing. I think oh, there's I a guess, lag. I guess there's a delay. Yes, okay. yes, a lag, yeah. Uh, so maybe you want okay. share a request so they can see that, so they can take up your okay. question. Let me, let me, let me do that again. Let me yes, stop sir. sharing and share my screen. Uh, the network is really, let me, let me even see if I can switch to another network. All okay. Right, let me see if this one will be better. Switch to another network. Trying to call. Please recharge as soon as possible or dial star 302. Okay. So try to share my screen again. Confirm you can see my screen now. It's coming up. Hello, can anyone else see his screen? Please confirm if you can see my screen, please. Yes, it's dark. Yes, 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 yes. dark. Yes. Ah, what's going on? Nothing is showing, sir. Okay, okay let me stop. Let me stop sharing again. All right, sir. Uh, I'm going to disconnect. Okay, I'm on another network now. Let's hope this works for us. Please confirm you can see my screen now. It's coming up. Yes, we can. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so let me let me throw this up there. Now, like I said, we have five types of analytics. We have the descriptive analytics. This describes to us what has been happening to our business. And oh, please kindly mute yourself if you are not speaking at the moment. So this tells us what has been happening to the business in time past. We have another one called diagnostic analytics. We have predictive analytics. We have prescriptive analytics. And we have cognitive analytics. And the deal is that one of us should pick each of these and explain the, these analytics. Why? I will explain the first one. And I said, descriptive analytics is a situation whereby the analysts pick up the historical data and tell us what he can see in that data set. Now, that is describing what is in the data set. I want somebody on this call to help us within 30 to 60 seconds, explain what diagnostic analytics, I mean, means. Who is going? I need somebody to do this for us. It might not be 100% correct. I just want us to interact. Who is going? Am I audible? Kindly on mute. Yes, you are audible. What's the name, please? Okay, my name is Michael Edoja, and um, Michael. I will try to yes, I will try to explain what diagnosis. I think, from my point of view, the diagnostic analytics tries to go more than those describing what is on ground. It goes deeper to explain the causes and um, the particular points that cause some things to go up, or what is making something not to go as much. 
are some are some indicators not yielding much or are some being too overburdened. So I think diagnosis mm. tries to look at the causes of what has led to uh, what is being described My, as the situation. Michael, hundred percent correct. What should I give to Michael now? You are correct. He said Thank diagnostic you. analytics go deeper, deeper, trying to answer the question: Why did something root cause analysis? Thank you very much. The next one is called predictive analytics. I want somebody else, if you're on this call, you can try this. Prescriptive analytics. Who is going? Okay, can I take it? John, please, John, you have yeah. the floor. Yeah. All right, um, to talk small and describe more what is expected from the information or data being raised. Then I'll tell us more what, more what the analysis are prepared, the solutions that are adopted, and what's expected. So to descriptive Fantastic. Small, a deeper understanding of the facts regulation. Thank you very much, John. This is so clear. I like what he said, what is expected. Whenever you mention predictive analytics, that speaks to the future. What will likely happen to this business tomorrow? What will likely be our revenue tomorrow? We are going to see all these things in action very soon. So we want to do things around descriptive analytics, do things around diagnostic analytics, and go into things around predictive analytics. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, Michael. I want somebody else, preferably a lady this time, to talk to, somebody should speak to the fourth one, that is, Prescriptive, prescriptive analytics, preferably a lady who is going to attempt this. 30 seconds. Prescriptive. Michael has explained diagnostic. John has explained predictive. I want somebody to explain prescriptive analytics. Who is going? I'll be calling names now. Let me look for female name here. I can see Esther. Yes. Esther. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hi. I, uh, I think it's a, um, a machine learning that has to do with what will happen, like how it's going to happen and um, um, what mm. will happen. I really don't know if I'm going to. What? What? We, you, you, are, you are in line? Okay. Oh, another Esther. Oh, Esther, please. Yes. The two Esther, help yourself. Uh, I'm waiting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a descriptive data analysis focuses on recommending action based on data analysis to optimize mm. the outcome. Mm. Ah, thank you very much to the two Esther. Now, when you talk about prescriptive is telling you what you should do. Focus more on what you should do. Predictive. When Esther was explaining, she was explaining something related to diagnostic and predictive. But those ones, they have their own line. But when you talk about prescriptive, they are going further to tell you this is what you should do. If you don't follow their instruction, then forget it, the business may likely crash. And I would like to tell you a story of Nokia. Nokia, they were the leading leaders in the mobile phone industry some years back. They engaged an analyst that told them, after the lady has done descriptive analytics, they are seeing why people are going for smartphone or very then. And he's already, she's already predicting the future is up to the management please i want us to to 
focus more on mobile phone, I mean, on smartphone. And the management were like, come on, we have been doing this for years. We are the market leader. Somebody cannot just come with a special phone and say it's pushing us out of the industry. But you will not believe it. Some years down the line, smartphone took over the industry. And quickly, Nokia tried to get into the smartphone space, but it was too late for them. Barely can you hear Nokia now. They are still there, but it's not. They have actually gone into data analysis full time now. So that is prescribing to you what you should do. And lastly, somebody should try the last one, cognitive analytics. But though most books will not put it as part of analytics, some books will add it there. So who is going now? Somebody should try cognitive. Esther, you want to try? Cognitive analysis. Yes, sir. Based techniques from cognitive science and um, artificial intelligence to enhance data analysis. Oh, fantastic. 100% correct. So, at this point, I want us to move on to the demo section of our presentation. So, let us quickly start the demo section. So, now, the first thing I want us to do is, if you don't have Power BI on your system, please, I would recommend you should use Windows operating system. But if you are using any form of operating system, you are going to leverage on Power BI service. That is the software as a service in the cloud. But for those of us using Windows, the easiest way is to come to the bottom of your screen. You will see Microsoft Store. Just click on Microsoft Store. When you click, locate the search button. On the search button on Microsoft Store, just type what you want to download. So just make sure you type Power BI Desktop, please. Type it and put Desktop. If you stop at Power BI, you will see a lot of BI, but that may not be Power BI Desktop. Please make sure you add Desktop to your search. You are downloading Power BI Desktop, and when you search for it, you will see Power BI Desktop, and it will put there, Get. But for mine, it's telling me it's already installed because I already have Power BI Desktop installed on my system. But for you, you will likely have Get. So click on Get to, to get it or download, to download it on your system. And once it's downloaded, Power BI is already installed on your system. And note, Power BI desktop is free. They are not going to charge you for it. So for those of us that want to download, quickly download that. And number two, for those of us on this call, I'm going to quickly share with us a file. Can I share the file from here? Share, where is my file? I'm trying to share an Excel file with us. Uh, let me see how I can get this file across to us. Oh, where is the file? I hope I have the, okay, yes. I'm actually looking for the sales file. Will it allow me to just drop it like this? No. Okay, let me open the sales file and I will, I will have to get this across to Ross so that we can also practice with the same file. Now, most of the time, we are giving a data like this to work with. This is a sales data. It can be finance data, it can be HR data, it can be anything. But I want all of us to pay attention to the data I'm sharing with us on the screen. This data is in Excel format. And what can we do with this data set? We can tell a lot of story with this data set. But I'm just going to allow five people randomly. Let me grab my writing materials five people randomly 
to look at this data set. If somebody gives you this data set as data analyst, what type of descriptive analytics can you bring out? What type of information can this data give to us? What type of cognitive or diagnostic or predictive or what type of data information insight can you bring out from this data data set? Let me speak to the column. The first column is order ID. Every order we have here have a unique ID. The second column is order dates, date of the order. The third column is unit cost. Costs, how much does it cost? Does this order cost us? The fourth column is the price. How much did we sell the order? The fifth column is order quantity. I'm very unfortunate we did not have sales. How much did we sell? If the price of one is 304 and we sold nine, what is the total sales? Let me insert a column on column F, insert, and call this sales. And the sales should be equals to the price of one item multiplied by the your quantity. Screen, Don't see your screen, sir. Oh, you can't see my screen. Ha, what's happening to my, my network? I can see your screen. Maybe you need to rejoin. Okay. Please, please, please disconnect and okay. let me be sure. See the screen. Hold so. on. How many people can see his screen? I can, I can see, see his screen. You can see <laughs> Oh, okay. great. Great. Okay, maybe so you, you can see my screen. <laughs> leave and Just rejoin. Leave and join immediately. You should be able to see the screen. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have the unit cost, the price, the quantity. I've added a column for sales, which is a multiplication of the price times the quantity. Now, Add is my sales. Let's go on. The next column is my what? Is my channel. What channel did I use to push out this item? The next column after channel is promotion name. The next column is product name. The name of the product. This is the promotion that we did. There are some sales that do not have any promotion. No discount. But this promotion, maybe there's a special discount during all other promotion. And we have the product sub categories we have the product category we have the states the sales happen and we also have the zone where the sales the states belong to now this is the data you have been given as data analysts out there i need the you to tell volume me. is failing the volume oh. is failing okay let me let me check my volume. Uh, where is well. my? Well, oh, you can hear me now. Hello. There's nothing wrong with Sorry. your volume. Okay. okay. Hello. Okay. It's good. Okay. Good. The volume is okay. Changed. Thank you very much. You can you can actually check the volume on your own system or That's network. So just pardon our network. We. We just have to get this through. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, based on what I have shown to you as analysts, this is a data collected by a company. Let me go to the last rule. It's a very big, massive data. Control arrow pointing down. 15,000 transaction was collected over some years. I can see 20, 20, 13, 2012, 2014 over some years and these are the detail of the transaction and somebody asks you please ma please sir can you help us analyze this data and i'm asking a question what type of analysis can you do i've mentioned four types of or five types of analytics as pick one example i would have loved to see the sales as against this, I need us to speak to this. So please, who is going? I need five people to speak to this. Who is going? Me, sir. So okay. I will look Sorry, at Sorry, what's the name? What was the name, please? Esther. 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 
Okay, Esther. After Esther, I can see Chijia goes and up. So Chijia go, you go number two. Esther, you have the floor. Okay, uh, for me, I'm going to compare the uh, product name and um, the sales against the sales mm -hmm. to see um, what, what product has the highest sales. And I'm going to also add the regions to know what um, the areas those products oh. so perform Esther, well. Esther, you are a genius. Look at what Esther said. I want to see the product with the highest sales, my top 10 products, my top five products. Where, where are those products? What are those products? How can I guide those products jealously? Esther, thank you very much. And she said something. I'm going to also lay it against the region. Which region is selling more of that product? Which region is really performing? Which region is not performing? And why are they selling more? Esther, you are too good. Thank you very much. Let's go to the second person. So, Chijago, you have the floor. Okay, thank you very much and good morning to everybody. Um, good I would morning. like to see a, a trend so that I will have mm. an idea of what is happening currently because what may be trending some years past may not be trending currently. So, mm. Based on that, mm. I also want to look at, there are so many things, so many things to analyze. We can look at the sales per region, sales mm. by product, sales by channel, you know, and as we are looking at this sales, we are looking at also profit. Which product is giving us the highest sales or the highest profit? Because the highest Fantastic. sales may not be the highest profit. So Ooh, there are so many things. Wonderful. What promotions okay. should we be repeating in the year? So Good. Um, I love I this. I love this. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Now look at the first thing she mentioned, trend. You might be a sales, a product can be the one leading the industry some years back. And now the product is no place to be found again. The trend, there is a shift in trend. So this is not leading. This is the trend now. Let us look at the trend analysis. How is the performance of the business generally is going? Um, this is getting more interesting. Thank you very much. Michael and somebody raised their hand. Michael and Idris Abiodun. You raised your hand before. Michael. Yes, good afternoon. Good morning, sir. Sorry. Yeah, good afternoon. Good, good morning. Morning. Okay. Um, from my perspective and um also from what's one or two of the last speakers so said, um, I will, I'm fully more interested in my products, my product name, mm -hmm. and under my product name, I want to see the promotions, like how the promotions have triggered those ones and how those product promotion is what I'm very more critical about because which I promotion they are delivering, which promotions are not delivering. And even I if it's below this counters that are doing the best, let's just even we know that our focus may even be on the no discounts. We just not know. Thank you very much, Michael. He said, I want to pay attention on my products as related to the promotion. We run promotion regularly in the organization. Which of this promotion is really impacting on the performance of which products? So this is a nice insight. All these things we've mentioned, you can actually get them done. That is, you are describing what is happening to the business. That is more around descriptive analytics. Idris, your hand is up. Yeah, okay. Um, one, I will have seen in the Excel sheet or uh, I mean a kind of a column showing the profit. That's I think Esther also talked about it because it's not all about volume, you know, of uh, mm. product. Is which one is giving us the best margin and in mm. what particular year. So that means when we also analyze it by year as well 
to see, okay, mm. say for example, in 2013, something happened. Which products, you know, did we sell more in a particular year? If that product has dropped, that's where we look about the trend. I mean, we look at the trend. If it has dropped, mm. what is responsible for that? What impact? What did we do differently? Uh, so why yeah. why did it drop? What can we do to continue to maintain the growth or to maintain the standard that we've you know we've had in that particular year? So that particular year Fantastic. that we've had more of that product, you know, can be like a benchmark to say, okay, if we could do this in a particular year. What happens? Why can't we continue to do more of it, you know, in, in the following years? So uh, they also okay. talk about um, the discount as well. So which discount sells, I mean, it gives us the uh, uh, what we need or the best volume. So why do we need to continue to promote ah, that, uh, this uh, is, that type of this discount? Is, this, is getting, you know, and, uh, this is getting so more interesting. We can, ah, we can as so, well look at channels. That which channel mm -hmm. is giving us the best profit. So it's not about, you know, as I've mentioned, it's not about the profit. So if I decide to do online and I see that online is giving me the, the profit that I desire in the business. So what can I do is for me to continue to push most of my product online so that because I know I get more, you know, from online in terms of margin. So that's by channel as well. So that those are the things that, the, you know, wow. those uh, uh, addings can bring wow. to us. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. I don't see reason why we cannot change the world from this small meeting here. With all what you have mentioned, they are amazing. And if you can do this for any organization, they will never want to let you go. So thank you, Idris. Let me take one more person and we stop and we go straight into all what we have mentioned. I've documented them. We go into solving them now, now, now. So let's go to Oluwabumi, you have the floor. All right, good morning, sir. Good morning. All right, uh, okay, the last speaker has already mentioned one of the things that I need to mention. That is the channel aspect of it. Um, from my own perspective, I will look at the channel that which of the channel is um producing, getting the mass and producing the more pro that is more profitable. To the organization okay. and i will also link it to the um location that is the um the the states or wherever location that is as in getting more that is making more profits through the channel also the quantity from that channel the quantity the um which channel is getting more quantity of selling more than the other channel thank you very much oh wonderful I she said, let's pay attention to the channel. Let's know which, which channel is doing very well. And let's relate it, the channel to location. That's what location is doing more around this channel. And what is the quantity of the item? In fact, what Idris said is, Idris is paying attention more on profit margin. She is looking at what volume is going into that location. And through that channel, why is it that people are buying more products through this channel? The quantity. In fact, there is no end to the analysis that can come out from here. But because of time, let us do all this interesting thing. Let me still remove the profit for now because two people have said we should add it or three, three people have said we should add it. I'm going to add it, but let me remove it for now. Please, if you know you are using Excel, you don't have Power BI and you want to do your data analysis in Excel, please, you are also welcome. What will you do? Number one, make sure your data is in form of a table. Remember what I said, is in form of a what? A table. How do you make your data a table? Select your data. When you select it, like it. let me click here and press Ctrl A. You highlight your data sets. After highlighting, under Home, you will see format as table, Make, making the work look structured, format as table. If you don't want to go there, the short key after highlighting your work is Control T. Control T will help you transform your data into what? Into table. So please pay attention to that. And once you're able to make your data into table, all you need to do, all you 
you need to do is under home in your Excel, confirm under home, you will see analyze data. It is here. It now depends on the version of Excel you are using. If you are using old version of Excel, please, you need to update to more recent version for you to see analyzed data. But if you did not see analyzed data and you are so passionate, you really want to use it, no problem. If your version is recent version and it's not there, let me show you how you can bring it up to show. Please click on file. You can write down the process because of time. Click on file. Under file, you will see options or some system. You will see more. If you see more, click on more. You will definitely see options. But if you see options, please click on options. A dialog box like this will pop up on your screen. On this dialog box, make sure you locate add ins. I want to add in some powerful features to my own Excel. Now, at the bottom, what are you trying to manage? Help me manage my Excel add ins. Make sure you see Excel add ins and click on the go in front of it. When you click on go, you will see analysis tool pack. Make sure <coughs> it is checked. Make sure analysis tool pack is checked, is ticked. That is one. Number two, somebody mentioned something and I was so amazed that I want to see how the discount is contributing. Don't worry, that is the work of solver. Time will not permit us to go into solver today, but you can tick solver so that it can be part of your work also. So I've mentioned two things, analysis tool pack and what? Solver. When you check those buttons, you can click on what? OK. When you click on OK, it brings you here and you can see your analyze data and your solver also. So what is the work of this analyze data? If your data is already in Excel, pay attention. And I mean, it's already in form of table. Just stay anywhere within the data. Don't go and stay outside. Stay anywhere within the data and click on what? Analyze data. When you click, allow the AI features that is embedded in Excel or Power BI to start its work. Look at what he said. Ask a question about your data just type any question here is going to give you answer for example what is the total sales that is what i put let me press enter he has gone to calculate total sales is 56 million 254 000, 53 naira 53 cobo don't stop there what is total sales by because the last speaker said, I want to see how each channel is doing. Total sales by channel. And you press enter. Allow it to do the work for you. It can be HR data. Any data is done. It's telling you that there are four channels. There is store, which is doing very well. Followed by online, which is trying. Followed by reseller, which is doing well. And followed by catalog. Don't stop there. Do as a pie chart. I want it as a pie chart. Let's see. Fantastic. He has converted it to a what? To a pie chart. These are what we are talking about. So as an analyst, I don't need you to go and stress yourself now as a beginner. You can leverage on this tool to quickly get analysis insight of your data sets. So this is good. Or let me make it more complex question. Top, top three products category by sales. Let me see. These are the top three. The category that is leading, computer category, 
camera category and TV category. Let us check the product category. Where are you? Product category. There are several categories there. Audio, camera, cell phone, computer. The category that is leading, these are the top three categories. You can't beat this. Or let me do something. I can see Quara here. Let me say total sales in Quara. It will give me the answer. The total sales in Quara is 7 million naira. Don't stop there. In Quara for year 2013. I saw 2013 there. Enter. In 2013, is what? It's 2.3 million. Don't stop there. By channel. Break them up for me by channel. These are what each channel is doing. Or don't stop there again. Can you make it into a, a bar chart? Presented, presented on a bar chart. Ah, he refused to give me bar chart too. Why? Okay, let me say pi. Pi. Ah, he refused to give me pie charts. But this is a good way. This is telling me sales by channel for states, Quara, where the order date is what? Within 2023. If I love this report, I can come to a new page and say, please, kindly help me insert this result here. And inserting the result, I can even come up here and say, look, can you give me a what? A chart based on what I have there. This is the chart I was looking for. Give me this chart. Good. And also, I can go ahead and make the chart much more interesting. So these are all possible things we can we can do we can lay our hands on so i love this so it's inquira online is the best followed by what reseller store is the smallest inquira but i saw that store one report gave me that store is the best and so on so let me quickly pause here this is what you can do with excel so, any question before I move to Power BI? Any question? I've done a lot of analysis with Excel. I want to move to Power BI now. Let me be sure there is no... Oh, one hand. Okay, there's no hand up. Okay, thank you very much. So, oh, John, your hand is up. Hello, John. So, my question is... What if somebody is using Excel, the old model, like 2019 model, and you are you are trying to have access to this kind of feature, and you're not using, and you're not able to have access to it? Maybe, like you said, we should update it. Like somebody was also showing me something like this yesterday, because I came across something like this yesterday, but I never like I don't have the idea on how to use it. So my question is, in a real scenario. Can this feature also be applied in a real life scenario? Of course, that is why we are doing this training. You can apply this on your real life data. That is the essence of coming together to share knowledge. But the version you are using, 2019, I think 2019 should have should have analysis. I think. <clears throat> Please confirm. Go okay, open so your Excel. Sure. And do what I ask you to do. I said go to file, go to option, complete this process. And when okay. you complete it, confirm that analyze data is there. But I'm using 365, the latest version, Excel 365. So please confirm you can see it on your 2019, please. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Esther, your hand is up. I, I noticed you did not um, convert any um, data type. Is it that uh, Microsoft Excel 
automatically knows the data type to use for each column. Fantastic. Microsoft Excel has a level of intelligence that make that understand the data type. But if you do not recognize your data type, you are also free to change the data type yourself. Thank you for that question. A good data type that may confuse Microsoft is, is dates. Because I asked the question 2013, he understand 2013 as a year. Because this is recognized as what? As dates. But if the column date is not standing on the side, it's standing anyhow, then your dating system may not be correct. So make sure that you, your dating system is correct. Like my system is 31st of August, 31.8. So will be 8.31. Please, you need to be mindful of that. Do the conversion first before you start your analysis so that you can get a true in interpretation. That is why I said data cleaning. Make sure your data is fit for use. If you don't clean it, you may not have good value for your data. So, Esther, have I answered that question? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, John Oladayo, I will only take these two, John and Oladayo. After that, we move into the second part of the business. So, John, you have the floor. Hello, John. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So my question is, like, um, la like last bootcamp we did, um, somebody said something about using PyVote for Py, um, yeah, but was it Py, Py table, PyVote, Py something like yeah, that. Yeah, PyVote, yeah. yeah. Yes. Table for data analysis yes. that it makes the job easy. Like me, myself, I haven't tried it out because I don't know how it works. So, I was willing. To, I was going to ask you that in when you tried out this feature, this um, and and data analysis feature in Excel, can't yes. yes. Then is it not possible for for that feature to like use that pivot? Because I saw you that you tried it and it's not working. So my question is, would you have to go back again and you you still need to integrate your own pivot table again for you to use it? Beautiful. That's my question. Beautiful. Thank you very much, John. So yes. this pivot table is what you use to do data analysis majorly, to summarize your data, to bring out parts, discrete analysis yes. on your data. We use pivot table. But this analyze that I showed to you is actually pivot table. But you are not doing it yourself. You are just typing English and it's doing it for you. This is natural language. I'm trying to make it much more simpler. But if you can do it with pivot table, you will get exactly the same answer. So you can use pivot table, or if you don't want to use pivot table, but you know what you want, you can quickly rely on AI. What I showed to you is using AI to solve the problem. So have I answered your question, John? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Is the same thing. There's no different. Okay, Ola Dayo, you have the floor. Okay, thank you. Good morning, sir. I just want to Good confirm morning. the the uh, the Microsoft 365 or this yes. that you say you are using. I want to yes. confirm: is it is it free for someone to install? Why I'm asking this uh, type of question is a situation whereby in some region, maybe outside Nigeria, if you want to install okay. Microsoft Word or Microsoft, it will require you to be paying for that kind of uh, tools. So I just want to confirm, Fantastic. is it free to some region or generally? Okay, thank you for asking that question. Now, Microsoft 365 is not free. So it's, you need to subscribe to it. But other version of Excel, they are not free. But once you buy them, for example, 2016, 2019, once you buy them, you have that version and you'll be using that same version for several years. Now, 365, the advantage of 365 is this. Once you purchase 365, every year, every month, every day, there's an update. You are free to get the update without stress. So that is why it's called 365, round the clock. Now, let me show you for you that don't know your version, click on File, 
when you click on file, look at all the options here. One of them is called accounts. If you click on account, you will see what you are running. I'm running Microsoft 365 app for enterprise. This subscription was bought by my company, Jire Computers. So if you have your official laptop, most likely your company will buy the latest version, 365, most likely. But if not, it will still be a recent version. But if you want to use personal one, of course, you can get a personal one to use, but it comes with what? With subscription. So you can say updates, but it will ask you to subscribe. So it comes with subscription. So please confirm I've answered your question, please. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Now, at this point, the same data set we have here, I want to quickly use this data set to do analysis on Power BI. So I'm going to close this. Where did I see? Let me receive this work file. Save as. Uh, uh, save as what? On my desktop. Save that on my desktop so that I can know the name. On my desktop, save it as. ACA data. ACA data. Alican Church of Essential Data. So let me keep that name and save. Good. Now, I don't even need the Excel again. All I need is to come to Power BI. Let me launch Power BI on my own system. For those of you that started downloading, please, when you download, open your Power BI. Now, the question now is this. On my Power BI, how does the screen look like? Now, take a look at the screen when you launch Power BI. The question is this. On this screen, what can I do? I can go to a blank report, which we are going to do. I can open any report that I've done recently, recently done reports. I can also do what I call, let me scroll down. These are my recent work that I have done in Power BI. I can sign out or sign in. I can check about Power BI and I can work on the setting. But for now, I want us to do one thing. And what is that? Under Home, I will select what? Blank report. When you select blank report, it brings us to this space of Power BI. This is a page of Power BI, and there are quite a lot to learn here. But because of time, I will pick and follow the critical parts so that we can get to the end of this. The very first thing we do when we get to Power BI is to grab our data that we want to analyze. So to get your data, click on Get Data. There are several locations you can pick data from. I don't care the database you use, but don't worry. Power BI can grab data from anywhere. So let me click on more. If I, hello? Hello? Please, if you are not speaking, mute yourself. If you want to ask a question, raise your hand so that my attention will be drawn to that. Thank you. Okay, now let me click on all. Let me do that again. Get data from more. Let me click on more. It will show me all possible places I can pick data from. So I don't care. Let somebody mention that ah, our data is in somewhere. Don't worry. I remember somebody just called me some, some days ago. I said, ah, we did a survey in the office. I want to analyze the data and I don't know what to do. It's not Excel. Please, it's not only Excel data you can analyze. He said they use monkey, monkey. Let me search. Okay, survey monkey. No problem. Anything they use, you will get it. So if we, uh, my work is in is in PDF. PDF, no problem. Don't let people tell you that you cannot analyze data in PDF because it is read only. Please, you can analyze data in PDF. Your bank statement, you want to analyze it, is in PDF. Don't worry. Download it and select PDF from here. It will pick up the data for you. Or somebody said the data is on the website. 
don't worry, speak web. You will see web, yes, select web. And when you select web, you ask for the website, put the website there. It's going to harvest the data and bring to Power BI for you. So I don't care where the database might be. Oracle, don't worry. You can pick data from Oracle. Just type Oracle, you will see it there. Or MySQL, MySQL, okay, MySQL database. Mention the database, it will go. But for the sake of this training, our data is in Excel. I will just type Excel. I will select Excel and click on what? Connect. Connect to that Excel file. Where is the Excel file? The Excel file is on my desktop. I remembered. Uh, desktop is on my desktop. And the name, I call it AC. I mean, it's, uh, oh, come on. Where is the name? Did I? I did save this work. Yes. So you have oh, double my desktop order. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I've seen it. So, ACA data. Thank you very much. I will now click on what? Open. When I click on open, it's going to establish a connection and bring up the content for all of us to see. On that Excel, there are several tables, call, and so on there. But let me see. Is it this table? When you click, it will give you a preview. This is exactly what I need. But you can decide to check other table two. Ah, this is the one we did for Quara states. It's not this one. It's this first table. So I will check the box. Otherwise, the load and transform will not be enabled. Please check this box. For you to see load and transform. Load means load the work and start analyzing it. Transform means there is a little bit of cleaning I need you to do on this work. So let me quickly show us one or two things around data transformation by clicking on transform. It will take us to where you can clean the data, and that is called Power Query Editor. Under my Power Query Editor, the first thing Esther says something can we change the type? Yeah, Power BI will allow you to do more of this. I want to change the data type for other ID. I don't want it to be integer or numbers. I can click here. At the moment, it's old number, one, two, three. That is why the icon is here. Can you make it into a test for me? Yes, add the step. It has made it into a test. That's why it's showing what ABC. This is showing calendar because this is a date. I like that. This is date. The next one is unit cost, which is 1.2, is what decimal, it allow points. But let me come there and say, I want it to be fixed decimal. To ask the decimal place, they having, this is having one, two, three. After the, I don't, I want it to just be two decimal place. If you want that, please select fixed decimal. It will give it to you in two decimal place. This also give it to me as fixed decimal. And for my quantity, I think quantity will be integer because we are dealing with electronics. So whole number is okay. So somebody cannot say he bought 3.3 mobile phone. 3.3 .3 is what? So it should be whole number. Thank you. The next one, sales. Sales should also be fees decimal. These are transformation, but you can also do this in Excel. But Excel we has a level of what intelligence that it can handle that for you. So I like all other ones. But apart from sales, I want to have a column for profits because most of us requested for profits. During my transformation, I can request that please, can you help me add a column? What column? The column should be custom column. I want to express myself custom column. Now, what should be this column? Call the column profits. Now, what is the formula for profits? For profits, help me do something. The price that I sold the item, take away the cost of the item, unit cost. This will give me unit profit, profit of one. But don't stop there. This is, put all this one in a bracket. 
All this, the price I sold one pen for 20 naira and I bought each pen for 12, 12 naira. So the price 20 minus 12. Now, 20 minus 12 will give me an answer. That is 8. 8 is a unit profit. But multiply the unit profit by the quantity that was sold. This was my, my total profit. Let's hit OK button and see. Fantastic. My profit is ready. But I don't want it to be alphanumeric. I wanted this to be what? Pure, whole, no, 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 fifth decimal. And I want it to be closer to sales. I can drag. Look at wonderful transformation that I'm doing. But this transformation may not be possible if I'm using other tools. So I have my sales. I have my what? Profits. I have my channel and so on and so forth. I love this. So at this point that I have done all this, the next thing to do, I don't like the name of my table. Can you give it a better name? Can you call it sales data? I think I like this name, sales data. I've changed the name of the table. What else can I do? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let, because of time, let me keep the transformation simple. Oh, let me see. Okay, my channel. I want my channel to be what? To be in upper case. I can right click on the channel column. Look at all the options here and say, look, I want to transform this column called channel. Make all the content upper case. To make something upper case in Excel, you may likely do one or two coding. But here, it's as simple as ABC. So I've converted the whole column to what? To upper case. I might even go further to say, look, anywhere you see store, please, we don't call it store. We call it outlets. Can you make all the store here outlets? Simple. You can right click on one of the store and say, help me replace the value. The store should be called what? Outlets. And say, okay. Instantly, all the store on the work would have turned to what? Outlet. You can see outlet, you can see online on my work. This is transformation. Quite a lot can be done. But let me return it back to, to the, what is it called? Lower, oh, if I want to undo, please, there is no undo on Power Query Editor, I beg you. The only way to undo, everything you are doing, they are all here. The last thing we did, we replaced a value of store to outlet. Before that one, we did what? Upper case. So the upper case we did, I don't need the upper case again. I can say, look, upper case, leave. I am okay. So I've taken out that. It has returned back to what? To store. And my replace value, I want to take it out also. As I return it, it keeps going back. So you can start to undo from the last one. You can start to undo to the upper one. So because of time, let me leave it this way. And we come to home. Under home, you will see close and apply. Close all what we have done and apply the transformation we did. The profit should not be part of it. But if you don't say close and apply, you can just say apply. That will apply all this transformation. It's like saving, but you are still going to be here. You are not going to leave this place. And the last one there says close. If you just click on close, you are going to lose all the cleaning transformation you have done. So, but at this point, I will click on close and apply. So it will bring my work to Power BI. This is my work. This is the name of the table. And these are all the columns in the table. The profit we just created is already there. The sales is also there. So let me come to this side. This side is showing me 
all the columns, all the columns and the data we came with. But the currency is giving me, I'm not too happy with this currency because I'm dealing in Naira. All these products are in Naira. So let me select the first one, drop down the dollar sign and say, please help me look for what Naira here. So I will just go to do, towards the end. Yoruba, Nigeria is there. There are lots of Naira there. Ibo, Ibibo, Fulani, Edo, they are all there. But to easily identify one, I just move to the end. I know why it's towards the end, Yoruba. Now, immediately I did this, it has put Naira here. The same thing for price. If I drop it, because I just use it, recently use currency will always be at the top. Give me the Naira again there. For the sales, give me the Naira again. And for the profits, give me the Naira again. This is, I'm trying to model and make sure the work is presentable. Now, let us quickly go into reporting. I will come back to this place and say, let me do a simple report. How can I do this report? The first thing I need to do is to come to get, oh, sorry, I've already got my data and I want to quickly generate my reports. All these visuals you have here, you can make use of them to generate any report of your choice. For example, I want to use donuts. I will click on donut charts. The donut chart is showing on my canvas. What did I want on this donut chart? Can I have my channel and profits? Can I have my channel and? I'm just ticking and that marks the end. My channel and profits. This is my report. And for us to see clearly, I can focus on the report. So this one here is store. I can see that the store is doing about 57% of our total profit, followed by online, which is doing 20% of the profit, followed by the seller, which is doing 13%, and the smallest contributor is catalog, which is doing 9%. Can you see this report? Within a few minutes, I've been able to pull up a report. This report is also like pivot table. That ah, somebody asked a question. Is it John? That is it the same thing? Yes, is the same thing as pivot table, please. Now I have been able to do one report. I want to do another report. Please don't stay on the report you have done. Click on the anywhere on the canvas. This time I want a what a column chart. Somebody says something about promotion or a bar chart, about promotion. Where is the promotion again here? Yeah. Promotion name against profit. What profit did they declare during each of these promotion? Let me bring them out very well for us to see. No discount. No discount is our regular sales. All other ones are promotion. In fact, I don't want this no discount to be part of the promotion because when comparing promotion, it should not be there. I don't need it. What will I do? It's so simple here. Yeah. Right click on the bar in question. When you right click, it will give me so many options. I need somebody to unmute and tell me if I don't need promotion, I mean, no discount as part of my promotion, which option should I select from here? Just tell me the option I should go with. Anybody? Exclude. 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 Exclude means take out no discount from the category of all my promotion. Please exclude yourself. Fantastic. And I have all this promotion. The best promotion is actually Adventist promotion. Wow. And the promotion, if they are to discontinue any promotion, I will tell the management, Easter and August promotion, they are not really helping us. We can discontinue them. But these three promotion. Adventists, winners, and deeper promotion. Please make sure we keep this promotion and we keep doing them because during this promotion, we tend to make more profits during this promotion. 
I love this. Let me keep this report. I have two reports now at the moment. I have two reports at the moment. I have the channel reports. I have the promotion reports. Can you see how simple this is? So the next report I might decide to work on. Somebody says something about yearly. What is our sales like? Or anything they have mentioned. If I don't want to build it, because I'm in Power BI, I can come to inserts. I will see AI visuals. There are a lot of visuals for AI. One of them is Q and A, question and answer. Just throw the question at it. It will give you the answer. Or if you look at the categories of your suggestion here, I can use what Q and A. It is also here. So just click on Q and A. Yeah. Or if you don't use it from here, you can click on Q and A from the top here. It's the same thing you will get. Or you can just double click on a blank part of your canvas. When you double click, it will invoke Q and A automatically for you. So I want to click here to get my Q and A. So for my Q and A, it's asking me, ask a question about your data. Very good. Let us go. So I want to see my, ah, yeah, what are the things they ask me? Where's my paper? Okay. Somebody said region. Sales by region. Now, when I type sales by region, I expected answer, but it gave me South East, South South. But what I needed, I don't want the South East, South South. I want the states that look is by states. But because I said region, is suggesting zone. I will come back and say, no, not zone, not region, by states. So, okay. States, why now? Is it not showing by states? Aha, I can see Ebony, Kwara, Delta. These are all my states. In fact, don't just stop here by states on map of Nigeria. Put a map of Nigeria for me. Oh, yeah, now. Is not showing. Oh, it's coming up. Fantastic. Can you beat this? He has given me the map of the country, telling me where the sales is coming up from. Ebony has the biggest circle. I think this area, Sokoto, the circle here is small. I don't know if that's the smallest. That is 355,000. There's another area here. I don't know the area. This is Baoshi, 196,000. This is very, very small. Now, can you see? The areas that have big revenue and the area that has small revenue because I'm looking at revenue, sales. Good. Now, I want to ask a question. Can somebody unmute and let me type your question here. Based on this data, don't go and ask me who will be the president of Nigeria during the next election. Ask me a question about this data. Who is going? Anybody? Unmute and ask me a question. Let's try it. Anybody? Sir, please come again. I said, the data I gave to Ross now, this data you are seeing here, I want to do some analysis. Ask me any question, anything you want to quickly analyze. Let me put it on Q&A so you can see that Q&A is so powerful is an AI feature that can help you answer questions without doing it yourself. It's the same thing we demonstrated in Excel. It's also here. So I said, can you come up with any question based on this data? What would you like to see based on this data? Can you go on with your question now? Which year My we have the highest which, progress? Which year? Hmm. Which year? Do we have the highest profit? Do we have the highest profit? Hey, Kai, Kai, Kai. 
Enter. Is it thinking no? Which year do we have the highest profit? I expected answer to show. Come on. Ah, it's not giving me. It's not giving me any result. To, why? Let me click outside and do it again. I expected that that question is not too big. Or profits, which year, which year, uh -huh, do we have the best profits? This is simple in English now. Why can't we put it as categorize profit by year or Cat categorize? Hey, ca so maybe probably go rise profits by year. Hey, let's try. This is not. I don't know why it's not showing. Perhaps oh. we might need to change it to the headings to be changed to year instead oh. of other date. Oh, no, no, something is even wrong. Something went wrong. What's the issue with my reports? Okay. Uh, I hope, I hope this will work. Let me try it again. Profits by year. Profits, profit by year. by year, Y E A R. It's just thinking, it's not helping. It's not helping. Okay, let me say total profit. Let me even see whether this will come. Total profit is showing. Uh -uh. Total profit by channel let me even see uh -huh. if you can do by channel what's then your problem by year y e a r uh -huh. oh yeah give me by year oh it's not giving by year let me see is there no year on this data that's there why i said the year, year, year now but i should convert it straight to year no, it's, it's, it's intelligent. It should know that there is year in a date. I don't know why he refused to help me. Okay. Let me say by other dates. Let me even put other dates there. By other dates. This should... Uh, no, now. This is day by day. I don't want day by day. I want year <clears throat> by other dates. By other date year. Let me put add year to it. Is year I want. Uh it's not showing me the year. Something is actually wrong. I would suggest probably we change the other year to I mean the other day to year. So unless here you are to year. Mm. Ah that's that is good, but this is not a year. This is a date. That's why I'm concerned. This is a date. Okay, let's do something. Instead of changing it, there's what we call synonyms. We can do synonyms. Now, what is synonyms? For example, <laughs> slang for slang for date, the for for sales. Let me say total sales. Let me press enter. Whether I will get an answer for total sales. Total sales, good. My total sales is 56 million, but I don't want to use sales. Oh yeah, another name for sales. Oh yeah, somebody should suggest. What's another name for sales? Total turnover. Let's see. Aha, look at, when I say turnover, it gave me profits. It gave me profits. That means turnover, it not recognized as sales. Okay, let's try revenue. Revenue. Hmm. 
revenue because we must ha he's taking revenue also as profit okay what is your bar for sales oh yeah your bar people on the call what's your bar for sales <laughs> Oh yeah, now is there no Yoba person on this call? Sales. Okay, let's go to Ibo. Ibo on the call. What's the what's the <laughs> replacement for sales? Yeah. Ah, it's a phrase. It's a phrase. There's, it's not a word. Is it a woo for? Okay, it's a, a phrase. Okay, what's the phrase? No, it's not a woo for. A woo. Okay, let's try Profit. something. Total Profit. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, profit. There is a word for profit in Igbo. Okay, what's the word that for is... profit? Uru. So... Uru. You are you. Enter. Uru. Now. He told me, mm, we did not understand your question. Try fees. How do we fix it? Let me show you how we fix it. You come to the model, the third button. The first one is your report. The second one is your data. The third one is your what? Is the model. Under the model, expand to see your work for profits. I will come to profit and say, look, profits. The synonym. They may not call you profit. Somebody can call you Uru. Somebody can call you, oh yeah, another name. Oh. Eri. 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 Okay. Now, anything you, you can buy in, your son on profit. Eh? In Israel, it's okay. called Swoyo. In Israel, it's called Swoyo. Swoyo. Please. I hope I'm <laughs> correct. Swoyo. Okay. Now, let us yes. leave this yes. and then come back here. I can come back here now and now start typing. Total, total Uru in, I mean, by, by channel. He has given it to me. Oh, wow. oh total, total, so, sorrow. Hey, what's the spelling of sorrow again? Swoyo. So it's called Swoyo. Okay. Swoyo. Swoyo. Okay. Total Swoyo <laughs> by products category. <laughs> Enter. He will give it to you. Total Swoyo by products category instantly it will tell you the product category ah, total swo swo yo what's that there what's that there is okay i've seen it i made a spelling mistake total swo yo by category he gave it to me now you can actually build synonym into your work and because of time let me quickly go back to my work and let's beautify what we are doing at this point i would like to do yearly sales but i try to use q and a i don't know what the year did yearly yearly sales yearly sales let me see whether it will work no this is not year now this is by year, year, year. Give me year. You refuse to give me year. Okay, I can do it myself if you refuse to it do it for me. gave you year before, now. Mr. Deji. Yes. It gave said, you year before. Eh. It gave you year, I yes. I see it. Do yes. by year again. Yearly sales. Yearly, yearly sales. Uh-huh. And just enter, just enter. Uh-huh. This is, but this year, is not yet. 20, this is oh 2012. 20, 20, 20, but I want yes. I want just one bar. I want just one bar 
for the year, uh, not several bags. This is day by day. I think day. you have to convert it to whichever line, um, visual you want it to okay. be. To yes, it's giving you okay, as line shots, so line you can chart. convert. Okay, let's it to try bar something. Chart. Let me try bar a column chart. Everybody, take a look at what I've done. I selected a column chart from here, and from here, I said, "Give me my sales." Let me click on sales. This is my sales, and I want it by year. But please, anytime you want year from dates, you are free to expand dates. Date is an hierarchy. That's why I say I expected you to understand date hierarchy. When you expand the hierarchy, do you want year by quarter, by month, by day? I want by what? By year. This is what I actually needed. Yearly sales. Each year, what is my sales like? So, this is another analysis that I have done, making three reports. One, two, three. I have three reports now. Now, number four reports that I want to do. Let us brand this work we have done. I want to brand this work. Let me come here. I want to save this logo on my desktop. Save as picture. And what is the name? Save it as ACA logo. Now, I want to brand this with my logo. I can come here and say, insert for me what an image. From where? From pictures. Where is the picture? ACA logo. ACA logo. This is it. And I say, open. This is the logo. I want it at the top corner here. Good. And I want to put maybe a title somewhere there. I can also insert a what? A text box. On my text box, I can type ACA sales analysis reports. I want this to be bold and big. Increase the size to maybe 28. Bold in it. Expand it. Underline it. Anything I want, I'm free to do. And at this point, I can push it up to stay somewhere at the top here. Oh. Or I can even change the color of what I type there to the same color blue. So all these are what are branding. So you are free to brand your work. Test color, make it color blue. Okay. I thought I've changed the test color. Test color to color blue. Let me see. Good. I think this is making sense. Now, after that, all my graph, my reports, let me leave them like this. Again, let me have one interesting thing added to this work. And what is that? Let me have a slicer or a card. Give me a card. On this card, put my sales on this card. This sum of sales value. Give me another card. This time, give me my profit on this card. This is my sum of profits. The total profit we ever made. And the total sales we ever made. Let me make one more. The last one I'm going to add. Give me one more. And this time, give me quantity. The total quantity. Somebody said it's interesting the quantity that was sold. The total quantity we have made. Let me put them here. I have three cards showing me you know, some things. Sorry, because the quantity, because yes. the quantity is of different items. I don't think it would be good for yes. us to put quantity. Quantity of different products. So we are not looking products. at the quantity in number. So yeah. So what really matters to us should be maybe the cost we use in generating the sales, the sales itself, and the profit. But quantity, because they are of different products, I don't think it would be ideal to put quantity in there. Just okay. my views anyway. 
Thank you. Okay, noted. Let me take out the quantity. Let me leave the sales and the what and the profit. This is good. The next thing I would love to have on this screen is somebody can ask me, these are your sales. Can I see the sales by region? I want to put a slicer. Some people call it filter, but I call it slicer. I want to add a slicer to my work. Is this a slicer? Give me a slicer. On my slicer, can you put the zone on my slicer? These are all my zone. So maybe I should bring it up here. Good. If I now say I want to see what happened in, in Northeast. When I click on Northeast, it's telling me my sales, everything about Northeast. The three promotion that is working, the channel they are using is only store they are using in Northeast. What of Southeast? Southeast is using three channels, as you can see. Store, catalog, followed by online is the smallest among the channel in Southeast. What of North Central? What is happening in North Central? North Central is using four channel. The best channel in North Central is what? From 2011, their sales is small. But 2012, 2013, 2014, their sales have been consistent in North Central. Oh, let us see South South. South South, there's a sharp drop between 2012 and what? 2013. Now, these are ways. And I can see the total profits made in South South and total sales made in South South. What the South is? South East, the drop is not down. Sales is good. Their profit is equally not bad. Let us see North. Where are the North now? North West. The sales is 7 million and the profit is 4 million. They are only using one channel. This is good. I don't want any of them. There's eraser here. I can clear my channel to give me an holistic view of the business without limiting it to any of the zone. So this is good. Now, any question so far? We are building a nice report for our sales analysis report. We've branded it and we can do much more to this. Now, let me just do one or two more things and we'll start to round up our class. One thing I want to add to this is to beautify the screen or to add more visuals. If you want to add more visuals, Please, apart from the visuals here, there's three dots here. Click on these three dots. You will see get more visuals. So you can get more visuals from the store, but you must have created an account on Power BI. If you are using the free account, you won't be able to get to the store. But please create account. When you try to get to the store, it will ask you to log in to the store. So when you get to the store, there are thousands of more visuals, powerful visuals that you can leverage on to tell your story. So because of time, I have already added two visuals from my end. I added this one, automated bar chart, and I added scroller. Let me use scroller for example. The scroller, let me drag it and make it small in height. What do I want on the scroller? On the scroller, can you give me what is happening to my product category against my profit? What profit are we making from each product category against my profit? Let me leave it there. It's telling me computer category, 12 million. And this we keep scrolling, camera and camcorder, 10 million. I love this. My report is getting better. Now, what else did I want on this report? Let us beautify this up. Now, to beautify it, I want this report to have border around it. I can actually come up here to format my visual. Under format, let me collapse this under format visual 
what am I trying to do? I can say, please give me uh, the title. The title should be color black. No, the title should be color white. Why the background of the title should be color black? The title should be bold. Oh, it's not showing bold. And the title should be at the center. Good. I love the title now. Apart from the title, let me see what I can do on the on the properties. Is there anything I want to work on? Yeah. Data format. I think I'm okay with the data format. Ah, uh, let me see other things I can do. Come on, size and style. The size. I think I'm okay. Border. Help me put a border on the work. If possible, add a small shadow to the work. Can you see that it has a border? It has a border around it, and it has a what? A shadow around it. This is nice. But I want the edges to be the corner to be what? To be rounded. Still on this one, can you help me work on the on the border? The border should have rounded corner round the corner for us ah this is good and uh, please can you do the same thing on all other visuals here instead of wasting my time under home i will select this visual that i've worked on and click on what format painter and say please put the same format on this format painter put the same format on this format painter put the same format on this format painter Put the same format on this and let us arrange them very well. So I want to have this maybe up here. And it should get to this size. I want to have this close to it. And it should be the same width. I want to have this stretch to the end here. And it should come down a little more. Good. I want to have this close to this. And this should come up here. Let me make it wider. This should come under it. Let me make it wider. Oh, the same format paint on this too. Oh, what happened? The same format painter put on this. Aha. I want to add the shadow effect also there. And let me make it up to this stage. So let me leave this or increase it this way. Now I have been able to build a report that I can present to the management. Now during my presentation, I can tell them, well, let us see our performance our sales throughout the company is 56 million why our profit margin is actually what is actually 32 million now let us see what the sales is saying in south 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 of the country in south south we are doing 13 million in terms of sales and 7 million in terms of what profit and we are doing more around store and what reseller in south south of the country and there are three promotion that is well pronounced there adventist winners and what deeper promotion let's compare our sales to north west in northwestern part of the country so they are doing more around adventist winner and x mass promotion around that area and we are only doing store in the north western part of the country and in 2012, our revenue was high and so on and so forth. Please, all of us on this call, what I have demonstrated to you is called descriptive analytics. I only describe what is in the data, but I've not done anything outside the ordinary. Somebody can ask me a question. Young man, look at your sales in 2011. And suddenly the sales jump up to this in 2012. And it starts coming down. In the next 10 years, can you predict what will likely happen to the business if you continue to do business this way? One, 
Number two, can you tell us why do we have a drop in sales in 2013? Or why, what make our sales to go up in 2012? So at this point, we are trying to do another type of analytics. The question is, what type of analytics are we trying to do? Who can answer this question? This, what we have done is descriptive analytics. But I want to answer the question, why did our sales drop in 2013? What led to this drop? In 2012, we made 21 million. In 2013, we made 17 million. We lost about 4 million. What led to this drop in revenue? What type of analytics am I trying to do? Can somebody unmute and tell me? Probably uh, diagnostics. Diagnostic. Diagnostic. Diagnostic analytics. Now, how do we go about this? All I need to do is to right click on the bar in question. The man wants to see what did I do separately, differently in 2012 that make my revenue shoot up this way. No problem, right click on 2012. Which one should I go with here? Analyze. I'm waiting. Analyze. 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 When you come to analyze, look at what he said. Explain the increase. Or find where the distribution is different. Where we have huge variance. Find them out for me. Or explain what led to the increase. But if I do the same thing to 2013, right click and I come to analyze. This time, look at what he said. Explain the decrease. Because he observed that this went down compared to the previous year. Explain what led to the decrease. When you click, it's going to do a lot of model algorithm on your data to tell you what caused the trouble. Now, look at what he put here. He said, here is the analysis of 17.29 decrease in some of what sales between the previous year, 2012, and the year in view, 2013. Now, number one, Store accounted for majority of the decrease amongst the channel. Offsetting the increase you are trying to make around online and reseller. You are trying to make a profit here, here, but your store went down by 4 million. This is heavy loss. So how can you lose 4 million within one year? He's already telling you that people are no more going to the store like the previous year. People are trying to appreciate online or they will prefer to go to your reseller outlets. Why not maximize your potential around online and reseller so that you won't just come to a point whereby people are no more attending any of your store? That is one. Don't think that is all. If you scroll down here, there are lots of diagnosis analysis that he has done for us. Let me read another one. He said, cameras. And camcorders accounted for majority of the decrease amongst your product category. People are no more buying cameras and camcorders the way they used to buy it in the previous year. You are losing about 2.5 million every year to this. If care is not taken, there will be big problem. Why not think out of the box? So that is number. Two, and if you go down down the line, there are lots. Another one says South South accounted for majority of the decrease amongst your zone. People are no more buying; they are leaving you for another competitor in South South. Call the director there and ask question. Who is our competitor there? What are they doing differently? How can we look? These are the insight we are talking about this is answering the question why where is the problem coming from root cause analysis what is causing the trouble for us so that is that any question on that let me briefly touch on predictive analytics because i'm targeting 11 30 so that we can spend time to interact ask question because I really want us to make use of this thing after this session. So let me do go to another page.
a new page plus on my new page give me my daily sales let me use q and a insert for me q and a so daily sales oh i thought i was typing daily sales i hope you get this sales i put sales here now s okay daily uh -huh, i like this so this is a nice report every day my sales i can decide to submit it i've converted it to a a chart so i can leave q and a the question part will go away now that i have done this somebody can ask me on my daily sales can you do some in-depth analysis or predict what will happen in the future the last transaction in my data happened on the 5th of december 2014 so let's assume 2014 is our current year the management is now asking the next one year what will happen to our revenue in 2015 or in the next two years what will happen all these questions i don't need to stress myself i can leverage on what we call the ai visuals that we have so the analytics that we have so let me click on this plus on this plus what am i trying to do i want to see the anomalies i want to see a forecast i want to project into the future so let me see is there any anomalies in my data set when you click instantly it will show you young man i can see a lot of anomalies so if i point to any of them it will tell me why let me point to this it's telling me that on 4th of august 2014 our sales that day is 109 what I was expecting your sales to be is 85,000, but it went beyond that sales. That means something unusual happened on that day. I might be interested what really happened. Double click on that dot. It will give you a detailed explanation that sum of sales was unexpectedly high on the 4th of August, 2014. It had a value of 109 which is above the expected value of 72 to 99,000, that range. What is the possible explanation? So it's trying to give you what actually led to that problem on that day. So just give it some time to work on the ranking. And from there, it will give you all possible things that led to issue on that day. Imagine something that has happened you can dig down with the help of data to tell them, oh, thank you. It gave me some things. Let me see what he told me. He said product category is printer and scanner. Hmm. Some of sales of product category printer and scanner was unexpectedly high, which may have lifted the sales for that day. Oh, is that all? Good. So what happened? I can quickly ask my guy come why is it that people bought printer and a scanner that that particular day on the 4th of august ah, so they cannot tell me oh maybe on the 4th of august what happened was that you know our one of our athletes is directly opposite a campus and they told all the students to do their work in color printing and because our color printer was cheap they were all buying color printer that day and that gave us high revenue at least they have given you insight i cannot tell the guy when is your next report august 5 next year august 5 next year don't wait for them to come and buy the printer take the printer to the to their department and tell them if they buy two they will get one free anything just do something to help your promotion but he has given you an insight into what is happening but i don't need this I don't need anomalies. I need what? Forecast. Project into the future for me. When I pick forecast, I want more options around my forecast.
Oh, something went wrong. Why now? So I want more option around my forecast. If it's not going to give it to me, no problem. By the time I come here under my format, if I scroll down, I will see the forecast. Expand the forecast to give you all the options there. Under the option, the units of my data, the units of my data, they are in what? In this. Forecast length. I want to go for one year. If I'm measuring in days, one year should be 365 days. Ignore some days backward. Don't bother to ignore. Seasonality. Well, just use your algorithm to it. Confidence interval. Leave the default there, 95. Then I will say apply. It has projected into one year from my original data into a forecast data. I can point to the forecast data to tell me what is going to happen some years forward. So this is an analysis of my data sets. So at this point, I've been able to build a report. So already it's telling me that 27th of November 2015, Assuming we are still in 2014, he's already telling me that on that day, I'm projecting that they are going to make a sales of 52,000 Naira. And if you make 52,000 Naira that very day, then you will all live to say, wow, this guy is a chief priest, is an abalist. How did he get to know the figure? I did not do anything out of ordinary. I only use forecast to predict the future of my work. So, I can equally go ahead to add a trend line to my work, a trend line to my work. And look at the trend. The trend stylishly is facing down. This is telling me that the business is not doing well at all. The trend is stylishly facing down. And if care is not taken, some years down the line, it may likely hit zero or minus sales for the company. So at this point, permit me to stop here. Let us interact, let us discuss. Generally, it can be about career, and I'm happy our doctor is on the call, so she can speak to any question that has to do. She's an HR professional, she's a consultant. She can answer any question as far as HR is concerned. And as far as data analysis is concerned, please let us talk now. Feel free to ask any question at this point. Please, any question for, oh, I can see John and, John, your hand is up. Okay, Michael said, Kai, this tiny exposure just unveiled a lot of trauma and ignorance. Oh, thank you very much, Michael, for that feedback. So, Please let us raise up our hands if you have any question. And I want to be sure that doctor is on the call. Is a doctor and she's also my auntie. Oh, thank you for the feedback. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Thank you very much. Where is my auntie? Auntie Bosse, are you on the call? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm happy to hear your voice. Okay. So thank you. She's on the call. So please let me give you the floor at the moment before you go to question and answer. Over to you. So you mean to Auntie Bosse? Yes, doctor. Is that? Hello, doctor, you have the floor. Ah, okay, I guess she's not on the call at the moment. Okay, let's go into the question and answer section. Hello. So let's start with number Hello, one. Hello, everyone. Hello, yeah, everyone. Good. Hi. Yes, we can hear you. 
I, I, well, I don't know if you want me to do the vote of thanks before you go into the Q and A. Let me know, please. Uh, oh, okay. Well, not the vote of thanks. I just want you to just. You are supposed to introduce the section, the class, but you joined late. I just want you to say something before we move on. Okay. Um, what I have to say is that um, data analytics is critical to decision making, regardless of the size of your business. As a marketing professional, there is no decision um, we took that did not have the backing of data. So to that extent, the knowledge of reliable, verifiable, and relevant data is very, very important in decision-making to the success of every business. That's just my contribution for now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, just a moment. Sorry, let's start to answer questions now. Let's entertain question. John, your hand is up. What is your question? If you cannot speak, you can drop your question on the on the chat board. John, you have the floor. All right, thank you, sir. It's a um, very impressive training. Thank God, go come to bless you, sir. Um, my name is John, as you said. I want to ask Amen. a question in relation to, in relation to what I do. I'm a Sage um, okay. Integrator, Sage Accounting Integrator to training. Okay. I want to, I can see, um, I don't know if um, the areas of um, payroll said it can be, this particular app you're talking about can be very, very useful. I, I think I have, um, I'm so grateful that you're able to, but I want you to do more light. In that area, in my choice of profession in the Sage Management Accounting, Installation Training and Integration, can I actually, um, you know, can I actually put this into practice in the areas of um, training, in the areas of um, integrations and um, training of um, staffs of companies? So I want you to throw more light into that area. And in the areas of, um, you made mention concerning the, the, the information so integrating it with the, what we're learning about. Can, we, I, can I actually adopt this method? And um, can you prove in, inside into what I'm supposed to do in the areas of the and um, packaging? Fantastic. Thank you very much, John. Now, what I want to say is this this is an analytical tool that can help you get insight from your data. It can be payroll data. You've been collecting payroll data for about 10, 20 years now. And there is need for you to go deeper and analyze the data sets we have there. Now, the question is this, how do we manage this scenario? The first thing is to get the data. I don't know where the data is seated, but just come to more. When you come to more, look for Sage from here. So now if you see Sage, yeah, fine. If you not see Sage, now, what is the database that Sage is using? If you can find out, then you can leverage on that. If you cannot find out, then you can also come to others. I use these others a lot. And I would have registered Sage on my ODBC. Since you are a consultant on Sage, you go and see how you can register Sage on ODBC. Once you do that, just come here and select ODBC from here. Click on Connect. When you click on Connect, then it will ask you which database 
are we talking about? The one you have registered, you would have seen the name. Yeah, you can easily talk to that database. And once you talk to the database, it will pull in your, your payroll data, any form of data, it will pull them in here. You can start to ask yourself, what are the things I want to see? I want to see what is the percentage of my compensation paid out as overtime? What is it? You want to categorize all the type of compensation that you paid out. Now, you want to see month on month. What is the variance? Because there is nothing, you know, promotion, no salary increase. You should expect the, your month on month analysis to be the same. The variance should be zero. In case you see any variance, you want to ask a question. Why do you have this variance this particular month from the previous year? You can right click and try to explain what led to the increase in the payment for that month. But it will pick it out for you and many other things you want to do. So I don't know if I've answered your question, John. Very correct. That's very helpful. Thank you so much, sir. Th thank you very much, John. Okay, I move to number two. Shijozie. Shijozie, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Um, thank you so much for this um, presentation. Uh, it's, it's a thank wonderful you. one. Okay, um, so I want to ask in respect to um, data engineering, how can we, how can this relate to data engineering in, in, in terms of career? Good. Now, when you talk about data engineering, is, a, is one of the highly sorted after, I mean, career. If you go online now and type vacancy for data or data engineering, opportunity, remote job, this, that, you will see lots. But what exactly is this career all about? Every organization, they have data scattered here and there. Because we use Excel, if you go to a case study, a typical company, for example, some of their data is on Excel, some is on Oracle, some is on MySQL, some is in the cloud. So they are data scattered everywhere. And as an analyst, is a big work for you because you cannot al analyze the data in silo. You have to bring them together into a single place so that when you bring them together, you can now holistically look at the data, how they interact with each other and start to tell a story that will show the true picture of the company. Before you start your work as a data analyst, you I mean, as a data analyst, yes, you need a data engineer to come in and connect what you call pipeline, connect to all those data sources and bring them into a warehouse, not just bringing them once and for all. It will create a pipeline to the data warehouse so that on the data warehouse, it can set up automatic increment. So when anybody open the Excel and add a new line of information to the Excel, that new line will also come and to the data warehouse automatically. That is the work of the data engineer. They clean the data and make sure that it's fit for use. They do all necessary things around your data. And once they are done in the warehouse and they find that it's automatically increasing as they are increasing the data from their different silos, it's increasing on the warehouse, the data engineer then sets back, step back for data analysts to come in and pick up the data and do what we've just done today. So I don't know if, if I've answered that question. Uh, yes, yes, you did just justice to it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Shijozie. Now let's move on to Esther. Ah, we have two Esther. Esther, your hand is up. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. But I must say that I enjoyed this training. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I was just going to ask if you really want to go in depth into data analysis, talking about the five descriptive, cognitive, and predictive, and all of them. Is there a way one can have some sort of internship that is possible to really grasp the required knowledge that can enable somebody to kind of start career change or even old enough to... Okay. Okay, good. Thank you for coming up with that question. So what I will recommend, I'm going to drop, we have a community for data analysts, data professionals, and 
every Saturday, if not all the Saturday of the year, good number of the Saturday of the year, we interact, we come together, we, we train, we learn from each other. So it's just one or two hours on Saturdays like this. So I don't know if Anne is still on the call. Anne is one of the coordinators of that community. So Anne, are you still on the call? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Anne. Please help me drop the link to join the the WhatsApp group. Yeah, that is okay, one. Sir. So, and yes, number sir. two, we have a lot of videos we've done in the past on 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 the internet. You can go through some of our videos, and apart from going through these videos, please, I will encourage you to do something for me join the community so that by the time we are interacting once, I mean, on Saturdays like this, you'll be part of it. You can ask questions. And on that platform, we share opportunity. Somebody will just tell you in our office, we need three data analysts. This, we share that. We also encourage you to leverage on such opportunity. And I always want to challenge us, please. If you are on this call and you feel you want to really take up your career in this part, please don't be scared, move up with it. We do food training as well, but our food training is paid training. We do food training as well. If you want to engage in the full paid training, you are also welcome. But I need you to scale up. And when you apply for any job, don't be scared. I've seen a lot of my students call me. Ah, when I saw the job, I was scared because I've never worked as a analyst before. There's always a first time. And I always tell them, go for it. The first few days, we have enough people in the community. And that just spoke is here. Some of us are here. We have a lot of people in the community that have already found their feet and they are strong in it. They can give you this first two, three weeks start up in your new job so that when you become a professional, you also come back to the community to give back to the community. That is that. Esther, I've answered your question. Uh, yes, sir, but uh, I need the WhatsApp group. The group. Okay, please, Anne, help me look for the WhatsApp group for Niger Data Platform and drop it so that she can be part of the group so that we can take the conversation up from there. Thank you very much. Okay, so, John. Jesse. Sir. It's John Israel, sir. Sir, okay. my question is for somebody who wants to wants to become a data analyst, are there other requirements aside from just Excel? Like for me, for the past few days, I've been after the data sphere boot country, I've been trying to walk myself through Excel. And though I'm not I'll not say that I'm getting it, but I'm having my own issues. But are there still other things like somebody as a data analyst should be expecting that maybe, like me, for me, like me, I won't lie to you, I'm naturally I'm scared, like, oh, no, I never do this kind of thing before, you know, that kind of feeling. So basically, so I need, I need some like, I need people, somebody to throw more light on what and how, what and how to do it and how to go about it. That's really my question, okay. sir. Now, thank you for asking that question. I will quickly tell you this. Number one that you need is that interest. If you're not interested or they are pushing you into it, you might not go far. So is your interest that will drive you to where you want to get to. The interest I've been able to push me to be at the top of my career to become an MVP on data platform is the drive that pushed me to it. So, and I want to tell everybody on this call, if you are interested in something, you have this burning interest, the next thing you need to do to it is devotion. You need to devote, if you, if you want to do it, just mark out one or two hours on daily basis from your calendar every day that this time religiously stick to it 
and give that one or two hours to develop yourself in this new skill. Go and write it down. 100 days down the line, you are no more in the same place. You've gone far beyond or above your peers. So that is that. You need to have this determination, the this, determination, discipline, diligence, and be devoted to it. And once you can get that one done, there are materials online. So the good place to start is Microsoft Excel, which you have started. So go for materials. Don't go for advanced materials yet. If you go online, if you type, okay, I'm online. Let me share my screen. If you go online, just type Excel, Excel tutorial, tutorial for beginners. You will see hundreds of lists that will guide you video tutorials. So okay. you will see hundreds of video tutorials. Look at tutorials, except for beginners, one hour. This, if you take this, then after that, you can now say, is that tutorial for experts? So you can move to the next level. You can even go to the, uh, to the extent of doing the professional exam on Excel. So, and so on and so forth. This is a 10 hours course. If you decide to start this one and go on with it, definitely you will move. And you can also go with what? Not Excel, Power BI. Okay. So please don't stop on Excel and Power, Dick and Power BI training. There are tutorials out there. Some people, they don't like this tutorial stuff. They prefer somebody speak to them. No problem. If you join the community, we speak to ourselves once a while. But if you can pay, you can invest in your career, then make payment and join a full tutorial class that will quickly put you up there. You will gain that speed. Then with that, you can now come back here and use these tutorials to leverage on them. But not only Excel and Power BI, there are other tools like SQL. SQL is another good skill. Tableau, like I told you when I started, that we have different tools that you can use to learn data analysis. But I would recommend Excel and Power BI. They are simple, friendly to use. But after that, you can go into SQL. You can go into Tableau. You can even upscale and start writing code. Go into what? Python. So all these things, they are not difficult at all but everything depends on what on interest so there are a lot of python courses out there all this will help you so john i don't know if i've answered your question yes sir thank you sir yes there's another john second john john jesse please your hand is up over to you Okay, so I think I've, you have addressed my case. Oh, on this part, thank yeah, you. Was, yeah, I'm, the, I'm the one that talked about uh, that talked about um, sage, said sage integrator. Oh, oh, so oh. you have addressed the issue. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you very much, John. Let's move on to Ola Dayo. Ola Dayo, are you there? Okay, thank you, sir. Um, just to practice, I want to ask: Are there sites? Uh, someone can download uh, raw data so that someone can be practicing with it. And also, okay. um, uh, as a professional, which, which certifications do you, will you recommend that you know that is worldwide acceptable in case someone wants to progress in this career, not okay. uh, minimize to Nigeria alone? That is, you know, that is international standard. Okay. Now, if you want to advance your career and you want to do professional exam, so I will recommend this exam, PL300. PL300 is a Microsoft certification exam, PL300 certification exam. So the, the exam is just, sorry, where is it? PL300. 100 exam, Microsoft. 
Okay, let me see. I want to go to the official site for Microsoft Learn to get this peer training certification. Oh, where is it? Okay, this is it. Peer training certification. Now you can actually leverage on this. This is just one single exam and it gives you a certification that makes you a Microsoft Data Associates. So Microsoft Data Analyst Associates. And the exam, you are going, it's about 60 questions you sit for. And once you can score 70%, you have a pass mark. And to do the exam is 165 US dollar from other countries. But if you are in Nigeria, if you are in Nigeria, there's a discount for you. You will do that same exam. The others will do with 165 at 80 US dollar. So see this opportunity. You can schedule the exam. You can do it at home, but I will not suggest you do it at home. You can go to any prometric center that is closer to you to do this exam. So with this exam is well recognized. This is the Power BI Data Analysis Associate Examination and it is well recognized out there. Have I answered your question? Um, yes, sir, but I want to buttress okay. it. At okay. what stage of career in data analysis do you think someone can sit for this kind of exam? Is it at still at beginner stage you can try it, maybe try it by error, or you must have been an expert, an expert, before you could think, okay, okay. let me go for this kind of exam. Fantastic. Now, what I will tell you is this. If you have done the training and you have been using it, when you say beginner, don't just do this three hours training and go for the exam. I will not recommend that. Do the intensive training. Use it to solve problem here and there. And when you use it to solve problem, get prepared for the exam, which there are a lot of preparatory materials out there. After preparing for the exam, then go forth and get this exam done with it. Okay. And please, if you are in the community, please in the community, cry out to anybody in the community. That's the group, the WhatsApp group, that you are ready for the exam. Is there any material somebody just used recently that can assist you? So any material they share with you, please pick it up and make use of those materials. They are, they are past questions before you go and sit for the exam. Because I don't like people, $80 is a lot of money. If somebody should call that, he did the exam and failed, it's always so painful. The pass mark is 70%. So you can always do and pass the exam. We have some people on this call that have done the exam that have passed and they pass essentially well. So if they can do that, you can pass. The person that really amazed me, the Mrs. Otushiri, the woman is on this call. I don't know if she's still on the call. She did the exam at a very late age, around 70 years old. She did this exam and passed the exam. If a woman of 70 years old can do the exam and pass. So, Ola Dayo, you can pass the exam. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, thank you. So, the last thank question is much. where I ask about uh, sites to download raw data, whereby someone can just play with it, analyzing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a lot of sites you can go to, but for now, I can I'll just give you one. It's Kaggle, K-A-W-G-L-E, Kaggle.com. If you go to Kaggle.com, all it needs from you is just registration. It's free. So just go to Kaggle.com, K-A-W-G-L-E.com. And on the platform, on the platform, you can request. There are a lot of sites we visit to get, to get data. So on the WhatsApp platform, you can also request. Oh, thank you. Somebody just dropped this for me. Thank you very much. So cargo.com. Now, when you get to cargo.com, it might ask you to register your, your name. So you will see register. If you have once registered, just go in. So when you get in, there are a lot of things you can look for. Is it data set you are looking for? Is it code, Python code you are looking for? Or you just want to listen to discussion or models that people have done? Or you want to engage in some competition, but you said data set, click on data set. When you click on data set, there are a lot of data sets. 
So there are thousands, if not millions, of data sets here. So you can't be scrolling through. Just type what you want. Maybe something on breast cancer. So when you type breast cancer, so you can get some data set around that. So breast cancer data set, select. You, you can preview the data set. You can download the data set. If you want something, anything you want, you will always get there. Have I answered your question? Hello, Ola Dayo. Have I answered your question? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so data.gov. So they they are dropping lots of sites for me here. Yeah? Thank you very much. So this is gift. So gift, thank you. Well appreciated. So any other question? Okay. If there hello. Oh, I thought somebody was asking. Ah, okay. Yeah, they've already dropped the WhatsApp group. I can see it here. So data, data AI group. So this is the icon. You can click on it. When you join, then we can take up the conversation further from there. So thank you very much. So at this point, I would like to hand over back to the organizers. That is Anglican Church of Accenture. So if there's any representative on the call, please, you have the floor. So you can take over. Okay. Thank you very much. Mrs. Posedi. Okay. Thank you. Tito. Thank you, Mr. Folare. We Thank appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. So we are can we have um, before I bring our mother on board to closing prayer, I want to have the youth representative in person of the um, the president, Bami Shokpe, to give a vote of thanks to our facilitator. Bami Shokpe, you have the floor if you are still on the call, please. Yes, um Good afternoon, Saz and Ma. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I would just like to um, deeply appreciate our facilitator for this very insightful and educative session. Um, even I myself, I'm not a business person, but I was able to you know, grab a lot of insights that would help me in my profession, that would help me also in in the events that I decided to start a business. So it's, it's always good to have the skills and the information when you when you think when you think you don't need it, you know, so that when you not actually need it, you can easily execute. So, um, thank you very much, sir, for your time, for you know, spending quality time explaining the concepts, you know, showing the demonstrations. Um, I'm sure that everyone on the call that joined this webinar were were richly blessed, were were educated, were there were a lot of insights that I got in from this session. So, thank you, sir. And on behalf of the country for Ascension and on behalf of the Ascension Youth Church, I would like to say thank you very much, sir. And I pray that um, God will continually bless you. And um, where the source, the source that this came from will never run dry in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President. Can we have our mommy, Mrs. Koka, to close this session? Thank you, Ma. Good afternoon, everyone. Good um, afternoon, It's indeed Ma. a pleasure to be part of this training. Um, I'd like to, to start by thanking the chairman, Dr. Mrs. Wale Okusi, for arranging this laudable, this enlightening, and this very, very, very useful and productive session. Um, I'm part of the Ascension Education Committee, so um, I'm very mm. delighted to have been part of this training. I would like to appreciate all those who have found it useful and beneficial to have been part of the training. 
I do not have any doubt in my mind that you would have found this useful um, in the application of the training to your businesses. Thank you so much for finding time to be part of the training. I would like to sincerely thank um, Ayodeji for Larry for yes, the depth and width of the training. Being a marketing professional myself, um, even for something as little as deciding on which media to advertise your products, we've always relied on data. And going forward into the century in which we are now and the diversity of markets and the globalization, there is no doubt that data will forever and ever be crucial and important. So every emphasis must be paid to data analytics in enhancing the, the, the growth and development of our business. Also is the fact that we do not have market borders anymore. Markets are in global forms. You can be in Nigeria here and be marketing your products in, in Japan, in Asia, anywhere in the world. So um, data analytics is crucial. It's important. It's very, very important. So thank you very much, um, Ayodeji, for Larry. Um, thank you I also very want much, to Thank God very much for the opportunity. And I pray that this knowledge that we have gathered today will help in enhancing and promoting our businesses because at the end of the day, that is the point. So thank you so much for your knowledge, Ayodeji. Thank you for the knowledge that the participants have gained. And we know and believe that by the special grace of God, it will help us to grow our business. After all, the Bible says, out of the works of our hands shall we eat bread. And we cannot just sit back, not engaging in training, engaging in improvement, and expecting to eat from the works of our hands. So I want to reassure the chairman, the members of the Anglican Church of Ascension Ed Education Committee, the guest lecturer, the participants, and every one of us that today has been very, very, very useful. And God in his mercies will continue to crown our efforts with success. So let us pray. Our Father and our Lord, we just want to thank you for another opportunity that you have given us to learn. We pray, Lord, that this knowledge that we have gained will be of immense benefit to the advancement of our businesses in the name of Jesus. We pray, mm -hmm. O oh Lord, that you continue to strengthen the chairperson and all the members of the Education Committee in Ascension, all our youths and all the participants, so that whenever they remember today, they will appreciate the training and they will be grateful. We thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. and we pray that as we depart to our various homes, we ask you to be with us, to guide and keep us, and let your face continue to shine upon each and every one of us. For in Jesus' Amen. mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. So, sorry, Mrs. sir. Is Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Is it Hello. possible Hello. to Thank get... you, everyone, and I say bye-bye. I wish sir. you the very best. Bye. Hello, sir. Can I ask a question? Yes. Hello, can I ask Please, a question? before you ask the question, if you're on this call and you want certificate for this section, this three-hour section, please, I just drop a link there. The link is valid for just 10 minutes. Click on that link, fill the form, and you'll get your certificate in your email immediately. Quickly do that before the link will go down. Please, John, go ahead with your question. So is it possible to get a, this material, the 